What's up, everybody? So we got a we got a nice little uh, I don't know what you want to call it tutorial or a, a tip or help me the hell out. I don't know what I'm doing. Whatever. A lot of people complain that the UI in, in Windows 8 is far too radical. It's not intuitive. People don't know what they're doing. Blah 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 blah. So here's a video, a nice little something for you. We have on the left, we've got a, a Windows 8 ready laptop and on the right we've got the uh, <clears throat> the almighty surface man I love this thing let me tell you how much I love this thing so the surface this is what Windows 8 was meant for this is the dream it's a tablet UI with obviously the tiles from the Windows phone very functional tiles if you can see they're, they're all flipping here's my people's my people's tile messaging so on and so forth and these are emails it's it's meant to at glance give you as much information as possible the problem is it looks really good on a tablet it works really well on a tablet it's flawless on a tablet and then you have something like a laptop same thing same exact thing if you notice because the themes look very similar it's because when you sign in with your windows live account the tablet pretty much pulled whatever settings were on my laptop. So when I bought the tablet, we didn't even get two miles away from the Microsoft store and the tablet was already functional. So that's a, just a quick mention of a dope feature for the Windows 8. But here you have over here, you have the same the same UI pretty much, but it's a little different. Like I'm controlling it with a mouse and a keyboard. Hear that? That's the keyboard. That's the start button I'm clicking. And here's the mouse. Here's the cursor. So. People are complaining that this is no good. People are saying that they're saying enterprises is going to abandon it. Consumers, aka idiots, are not going to know what to do with it. And you know, it, it's just an ongoing debate. What I found was people just need a little help. If you tell them how to, sh if you show them actually how to do it, they won't be an issue. And and I think you'll find it's it's really not too far off from the way you use your Windows tablets today, your Windows devices today. So let me go to the desktop. Here's a desktop on a Windows laptop. And it looks pretty much like a, a regular desktop. The only difference is down here in the lower left corner, there's no start menu. So Microsoft consciously removed the start menu with the start, whatever start button, invisible button that you want to call it, that then launches the Metro UI. Is this a bad thing? No. So if you've if you've been paying attention to Vista or Windows 7 in the last few years, you notice they introduce uh, indexing to the start menu. So you click the start menu and you start typing what you're looking for. So if you wanna, I don't know, look for Internet Explorer, you click the start button or you, you type start and you start typing internet. And it'll start bringing back a list of entries that start with internet. That's what indexing is, and it, it was a very handy feature, especially because it it indexed files, programs, everything. Here, it's still the same thing. So, let's look for Zoom, right? Start, Z, U, and already you see it pops it up. Now, a little different is over here on the right, it'll say, okay, apps call Zoom, settings, files call Zoom, well, if it's still not any of these, do you want to search music? Do you want to search Bing? Do you want to search Evernote? These are all searchable programs. But overall, it's apps. That's what I want. I want to zoom. There it is. Clear as day. Let's say I want to watch. I want to start Chrome. C H R. There's Google Chrome. Enter button, and it launches. Not that difficult. It really isn't. The same applies over here. With a tablet, the only difference is we have to slide it over and hit the search button. So. Honestly speaking, if you're going to use a tablet with no keyboard, having a keyboard on your laptop or just a keyboard in general is actually a, an easier way of doing things. But it's, a, it's the same. Well, I don't have Zoom installed because it's an RT. But it's the same concept. You type and it starts auto-filling what you're looking for and then you launch it. It, it can't be any more. It can't be any more simple than that. Some of the, some of the, the commands you may want to remember for each program whatever program you're in. So let's say you're in music. Let's wait for that to come up. Let me launch it over here as well. So programs will always have a, a list of commands, things you can do. Where's my music tab over here? 
Oh, well, here we go. Let's just type music because I don't know where the hell I put it. So programs will have a list of commands you can do, options, triggers, whatever. The way this works in Windows 8 for the, the touch UI, you just swipe down. And there you have it. On the bottom, here's a list of things I can do. Previous, play, playback options, repeat, whatever. Here's what I was playing, open files, so on and so forth. Over here, same deal, but I can't pull it down. What I can do is right click. So when you right click, boom, that's your options listed right here. Simple, as long as you know what to do. So let's say you wanna close the music program. The way you close apps in Windows 8 is you drag from the top, come down, whoops, I let it go, come down, and you'll see it fold and just drag it all the way down. Boom, it's closed. Same deal, come up here on the laptop, drag, close, that's it. Couldn't be more simple. Now what about multitasking, task switching? On the tablet, you switch back. This is how you bring it in. I don't think I have much apps actually launched, so let me. <laughs> Snow Nasty mentioned me on Twitter. He must be trying to look at some of those new Windows 8 Surface features. As he's right behind me as we record. So let's launch a few apps over here as well. Just get some random apps launched so I can really demo the feature. So jumping back to what you were doing last is obviously uh, a great asset for any operating system. And on the tablet, it's actually pretty easy. You just drag it out, just drag it out, drag it out, drag it out, so on and so forth. On the computer, it's a little different. What they went ahead and did, because it's kind of hard to do that, that drag feature, if you put the mouse in the top left corner, you'll actually see the last program here. So if you just keep tapping, it just it cycles through them. One, two, three, four, and it, it, it just goes. Also, to note, is if you drag it out here on the tablet and bring it back, now here's a list of all the programs you've opened. So let's select Bing. Simple, right? As long as you know what to do. Here it is again. Now, because we can't drag it out and pull it back, what you can do is just simply move the mouse down. Same deal, just a little different. The point here is people have been complaining that it's really hard to navigate with a mouse, and it isn't. The, the only... The only caveat, if you chose to call it a caveat at all, the only thing you need to get used to is simply not relying on the start menu. And if you think about it, most people would say start all programs and they start searching for whatever they're looking for. Well, when you hit start on the tablet, use your scroll button. Everything you'd be looking for is right here. If you don't like that, just move the mouse over. Look at that, it scroll automatically, I just moved the mouse. It really couldn't get more simple than that. I think it's something that will take some getting used to. It requires a little bit of uh, a little bit of retraining, but ultimately it's it's fairly simple. Ah, off to the to the right on the tablet here. This is this is our main menu. So you have the start button, you have devices, settings, share, and search. You saw the search before. Here, it's simply just put the mouse in the lower right corner. Same deal. I mean, I I couldn't. I don't really understand what the beef is about people not being able to navigate the, their way around Windows 8. And then you've got, obviously, the hardest one. It This one is a little weird. Uh, they kind of hit the shutdown button. And I've seen videos of people, you know, particularly Chris Perillo out in the street trolling people, asking them to shut down a Windows 8 laptop when they never seen it. And they didn't know what the hell to do. Well, so you know, your shutdown is in settings. Settings, power and shut down couldn't get more easy than that now that you know where it is i swear to you you'll never forget and that's it that's all there is to it so yeah you know just just give it a try i think you'll find that it's easier and you will adapt to it so you know enjoy the, the tablets enjoy the windows 8 devices people and merry christmas Happy Hanukkah, Happy New Year, so on and so forth. Goodbye.